Hey guys and welcome back to another Unrender in 4 tutorial. In today's video we're going to be going over a simple process of how to use event hit and event begin overlap on multiple actors. So you can have it so it doesn't check for any or you can have it so it checks for just one. But in this, what if you want to have it check for two specific characters? So you've got two different characters you're playing as, you want it to check for both of them but not for AIs. So I'm going to show you how to do that. If I hit play I'll just give you a quick overview of what we've got. So I've got this character, if I walk into it we're going to get the hit in the top left as we hit it and the color is just going to change and I've just done that as a visual cue just so you know it's working. And if I go to this other character, so I just change over to this one and if I do the same thing it's going to work for this one as well. But then an AI going into it wouldn't work. I don't have an AI set up however it wouldn't work and I'll show you how to do this very soon. So this is what we're going to be making today. Very simple code. It's been requested quite a bit. So without further ado let me delete this code and I'll show you how we're going to do it. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up the blueprint which we want to have this code in. So for me I've just got an actor so I've gone to right click, blueprint class and I've got an actor, named it hit actor, opened it up and I've just put a cube in here. So that's just a very simple blueprint I'm using that I want to have the event hit on. If we then go over to the event graph what we can do is right click and get event hit. I imagine you've already done all this because you want to know how to then advance upon this. And what we want to do is if I just take this out go straight into the other code I have. So this code here is just a visual cue. So we've got a print string of hit and then changing the colors here. Again, I imagine you've probably already got all this code. You just want to figure out how to have it between them. But I'm going to explain it a bit more. So if I then hit play with this, you see that if we walk into it, it's going to work for this character. And if we change onto this character, it'll work for this character. So if you want it just like that, that works. However, it's not searching for any specific pawn or actor to overlap with and hit. So this will work with any actor which overlaps it. So whether that's then you throw something at it or an AI, anything, they'll all affect it. We don't want that. We want it to be a specific character. So we'll come out of other of the event hit and cast to our character. I'll start with SWAT characters, that's who I'm playing with originally. Cast to that there. And now if I go into this code, it's going to only work with the SWAT character. Because the other is going to cast to that SWAT character. So if it is the SWAT character which is overlapping, it'll work. If not, it will fail the cast and won't do anything. So if we hit play, we go in, we walk into it, that's going to work. But if we switch characters, this isn't going to work for this one because it's not searching for the correct character. So how do we implement both of them? Very, very simple. Come out of other again and cast to that other character, which for me is the third person character one. And I'm going to connect that into cast failed. So if it's not this first character, it's going to check to see if it's the second character. If it is, that can go into that code. And if it's not the second character, it will go into cast failed and won't do anything. Or if you want three characters, you can do the same process. So other cast to the other character, go into cast failed. So you can do this for as many, many times as you want. It's a very simple bit of code, which works great wonders for us. So that is it. So again, I've shown you with no searches, with one search and now two searches, how you can implement all of them. So it will search for the SWAT character. If it's not that, it will search for the third person character. And if it is either of those, it will work. And if it's neither of those, then it won't do anything. So I'll show you this again to prove it's working. I'm playing as a SWAT character. We walk into it, it's going to fire the event hit like so. And then if we change to our other character, we fire into it, it's going to do the same code again as it is searching for both of them and finding this one as well. So I think that'll be it for this video because we've done everything we want to do. Like I say, it's a very simple bit of code which just allows us to use event hit or event begin overlap or even end overlap for as many different actors and players and characters as we like instead of just searching for one but we're still searching so it's only working for specific characters. So thanks so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed it and hope you found it helpful, and if you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.